welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the effects inside Replicant. As you can see, they can create very atmospheric effect. So let's find them. Let's go to Windows, Content Window, Effects. And you can dock this uh, wherever you want. And here you have uh, a different categories. We're not going to take a look at everything, but uh, wherever you learn with the ones that we're going to showcase, uh, it will be helpful for the rest of the effects. So let's just start with this one. If you go to the details panel of that effect, you will see uh, a list of particle parameters. Well, you can enable and disable the parameter. This will restart. There are some parameters that uh, require to re-enable the parameter or wait for the entire lifetime of that specific particle. Uh, so this can be faster. You can freeze and use a time stamp to move through the effect and you can use it in the timeline. So you can always uh, have a predictable effect. If not, you can leave it free. Now the spawn, the spawn rate is the the rate at which the particles uh, appear. So a bigger number in this case will create thicker smoke. Lower number will create uh, a less dense smoke. Then you have the lifetime. Usually there is a minimum and a maximum. The lifetime is uh, how long the particle will stay uh, visible. So if we reduce the number, the particles are refreshing a lot. So they are spawning and um, disappearing very fast. You can increase the duration of the particles. This will drag the particle for a longer time. Then you have the sprite. Uh, minimum and maximum size. Uh, it's basically the size of the particle, so you can have very small particles or very large, maybe too much. As you can see, there are some effects that uh, if you make them very big, will uh, display like if it was a stop motion. This is be uh, because of the nature of some specific uh, particle systems. So keep that in mind. Then you have the spawn area. This is uh, the area that will that the particle system will use to spawn uh, the particles. So the bigger the area, the wider the the space it will use for spawning the particles. So you don't have to duplicate it everywhere, you can increase that. You have the opacity. Let's reset this to the default values. Okay, now you have also maximum and minimum opacity. You can make this very light. As you can see, it's uh, barely visible now. The mass is specific for this one, and the wind speed will push the effect in one direction. And the gravity will create this effect, like uh, a smoke pluming into the ground. Uh, so you can increase the gravity and it will start falling. Maybe you need to increase it a little bit more. Yeah. And also you have the emissive strength. If you reduce the emissive to zero, this effect will only be visible under uh, light source, like these ones. As you can see, if I near a light source, it will be visible. If not, it's going to be barely visible. So if you want to make it always at least a little bit visible, you can introduce 
a very low emissive value and it will be visible and also you can control the color so let's jump into other types of effects let's go directly to fog here we have uh, patches of fog this will use the volumetric effect so if you go to sky fog and you have volumetric disable it won't work uh, and with that you can change the the noise the lifetime as well the general opacity so it will make it more visible uh, you can change the density of the fog it's faster to preset uh, the particle to see it um, you can change the lifetime uh, again uh, the contrast will make the borders a bit harder or softer the emissive as well if you only want to be uh, affected by lights in the environment and the noise speed you can increase the the movement of the of the noise so it will create the effect of the fog moving you need to have uh, a more patchy uh, particle effect so it's visible and you have this one which usually works for the ground and you can uh, again tweak a lot of parameters to change the noise pattern uh, how thick it will uh, be near uh, objects so you have the proximity max distance harder and uh, opacity for this effect you also have a spawn head so it will spawn the particle higher without the need to move the the particle and as you can see this can create very uh, atmospheric effect okay now let's take a look at fire uh, let's give it a moment and with fire you can control the ember the smoke and the fire um, so you can change the ember spawn rate, you can change the intensity, you can tweak parameters for the smoke, so if you want thicker smoke, or uh, no smoke or very little, the velocity, maybe that's too much, Uh, so yeah, you can control basically uh, the look of the entire uh, particle. This will control the smoke. Uh, you can make it uh, more transparent or more opaque, as well as the color. And also you can control the color of the fire. As you can see, very cool. You have different types of uh, well, sometimes selecting particles is a bit hard so what you can do is select the particles filter by particles in the scene list press F and you will find it and here we have our candle uh, so yeah we have those and for the leaves it's pretty much the same you have the gravity strength you have the wind so it uh, blows in uh, a specific direction, rotation strength and random movement so the leaves will have kind of turbulence uh, you can affect the spawn area and how high they spawn uh, for this particular effect you can increase how much they move once they touch ground or if you want them to stay completely still once they touch the ground uh, Maybe that's for the new particle, so we're not going to see that at the moment. But yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much what we have. Uh, you have dust, uh, some uh, 
floaty things, sparks, uh, weather effects, uh, you name it. And we will add more in the future, so stay tuned. See you in the next video. Bye.